Good morning, RCS family. Today is Thursday, September 24th, 2020. And did you know it is National Punctuation Day? Yes, in 2004, Jeff Rubin found a way to promote correct usage of punctuation. Now, I know many of us use Grammarly to make sure our sentences are written well, but the truth is we need to understand punctuation and the importance of it in our written language. Have you ever tried to read a paragraph or story without punctuation? Not fun. Our friend the period and our buddy the comma are necessary or we would have a very difficult time understanding what we read. So remember, whenever you are writing, to double check yourself before you rickety wreck yourself. Now on to something that is very important to our daily routine that I think we need to start today. In the past, we have always recited our mission statement, but there were so many other new routines this year that I have held off. Now that we are nearing the end of September, the time has come for us to make sure we include the mission statement in our daily routine. Why is the mission statement so important? It is important because it states who we strive to be at resurrection, both individually and as a larger community. Today, listen as I recite our mission statement and think about what the words mean and who we are trying to become. Firmly rooted in our belief in Jesus Christ, Resurrection Catholic School provides a faith-based environment that empowers students to fulfill their potential spiritually, intellectually, and socially. We offer a rigorous and challenging curriculum that enables students to achieve academic excellence through problem-solving, critical thinking, and collaboration. We prepare our students to become mindful leaders with an emphasis on understanding and compassion for others through community service and global stewardship. We work to build mindful leaders here at Resurrection, and this is so important because we are living in a world divided, one in which many people are suffering, hurt, and angry. Let us pray for unity, relying on God's loving guidance to work to make a better world for our children. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. In this century, and in any century, our deepest hope, our most tender prayer, is that we learn to listen. May we listen to one another in openness and mercy. May we listen to plants and animals in wonder and respect. May we listen to our own hearts in love and forgiveness. May we listen to God in quietness and awe. And in this listening, which is boundless in its beauty, may we find the wisdom to cooperate with a healing spirit, a divine spirit, who beckons us into peace and community and creativity. We do not ask for a perfect world, but do, we do ask for a better world. We ask for deep listening. In this we pray, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. God bless America. Resurrection, I hope you all have a beautiful Thursday. We're getting close to the weekend.